Welcome to Space Videos, my friends. It's Monday, the 17th of March. We are going to get up close and personal with our favorite star, the Sun, to see what has been going on today. We are viewing the Sun through the eyes of NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory, or SDO. This spacecraft captures the Sun in a number of different wavelengths, and the one we are seeing here is known as 171 Angstrom. An angstrom is just a unit used in measuring wavelengths of light. These images are normally black and white, but we've colored them to make the details easier to see. As it's St. Patrick's Day, I had thought about coloring them green, but it looks a bit naff, so we will stick with yellow. As you can see, the sun is putting on a stunning show of glowing loops and flickering flashes. The 171 angstrom is a special ultraviolet view that lets us see the sun's hot outer atmosphere in amazing detail. This extreme ultraviolet view highlights multiple bright active regions and looping structures in the sun's corona, outer atmosphere. We're seeing plasma at around 1 million degrees Kelvin glowing in the sun's magnetic field. The brightest areas indicate strong magnetic regions on the sun's surface. These correspond to sunspot clusters, active regions, that shine brilliantly in ultraviolet. Notice the coronal loops arcing above these regions, giant magnetic loops of hot gas tracing out the sun's magnetic field lines. The sun's magnetic field lines become visible because the hot plasma, electrically charged gas, trapped in them glows brightly. Essentially, we're able to see the normally invisible magnetic architecture of the sun in a beautiful gold color. This is important because it helps scientists track how energy moves through the sun's atmosphere and spot early signs of solar flares or eruptions. Let's break down what's visible on the sun today, as seen in our video. There's a lot happening, but we'll focus on the main features and explain what they are and why they matter. Active regions and sunspots. Active regions are areas with especially strong tangled magnetic fields, usually anchored by sunspots, dark patches on the sun's surface. Sunspots appear dark in normal visible light because they are cooler than the surrounding areas. But in this ultraviolet view, they show up as bright regions in the corona. In fact, if we look above a sunspot into the hot corona, what was a dark spot becomes a brilliant active region because the same magnetic field that makes a sunspot also traps superheated gas above it. That hot plasma over a million degrees glows brightly in UV, outlining the active region. Today, the sun is dotted with many active regions. About a dozen sunspot groups are visible on the Earth-facing side. Despite all these magnetic hotspots, the sun has been relatively calm so far. No big explosions yet. Active regions are important to watch because they are the birthplaces of solar flares and CMEs. Generally, the more sunspots we see, the higher the chance for flares and eruptions. You'll notice graceful loops arcing above the sun's surface. These are coronal loops. They are gigantic loops of plasma electrified gas following the sun's magnetic field lines, often connecting one sunspot to another. In this wavelength, these loops are very clear, glowing in the extreme ultraviolet light emitted by ion atoms in the hot plasma. Why are they important? Coroni loops are like neon signposts tracing the sun's magnetic field. They show us where magnetic energy is stored in the corona. Sometimes these loops remain stable and pretty to look at, other times they twist and snap, releasing energy. When a loop breaks or reconnects, it can drive a solar flare or even fling plasma into space. For now, today's loops are mostly stable, arching above each active region. A solar flare is a sudden explosion of energy on the sun's surface caused when tangled magnetic field lines in an active region suddenly snap and reconnect. It's like a huge release of built-up tension in the sun's magnetic field. In this video, flares appear as intense bright flashes in the active regions. So far today, the sun's flares have been small, classified as C-class flares, which are relatively minor bursts. In the past 24 hours, the sun produced around a dozen C-class flares. The brightest one was only a mid-level C-class. On the scale of solar flares, C is low, M is medium, and X is high. In fact, the largest event we saw was roughly a C4, C7 in strength, still below the threshold of an M-class flare. These kinds of flares don't cause major effects on Earth, 
you might not even notice when they happen, aside from a quick flash in the images. Sometimes the sun not only flashes with flares, but also throws material out into space. That's a coronal mass ejection, or CME. A CME is essentially a huge bubble of plasma and magnetic field erupting from the sun's corona and hurtling into the solar system. These are often associated with big flares or destabilizing coronal loops. Think of a CME as the sun literally shedding some of its atmosphere. CMEs are important because if one is aimed toward Earth, it can cause a geomagnetic storm when it arrives, usually a few days after the eruption. The good news today? We haven't observed any new Earth-directed CMEs from the sun's recent activity. None of the modest C-class flares produced a noticeable CME aimed at us. Today's images, combined with other instruments like coronagraphs, show no big eruptions leaving the sun toward Earth. To sum it all up, today's sun is active but not dangerous. We saw many beautiful active regions and coronal loops on the sun, with a bunch of minor flares sparking here and there. Enough to keep things interesting, but not enough to cause serious effects on Earth. No major eruptions means no strong geomagnetic storms for us at the moment, just a bit of unsettled magnetic activity that might treat high-latitude skywashers to some auroras. It's a great reminder that even on a quiet day, our star is constantly bubbling and changing, and these images let us witness that daily magic in exquisite detail. Thank you for joining us on this solar tour. If you enjoyed this update and learned something new about the sun, please give the video a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you have questions about today's solar activity or if you were lucky enough to see an aurora. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more daily space weather updates and cool science content. We'll be here watching the sun and keeping you informed whenever it sends something our way. Stay curious and clear skies.